Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Now we shared a story about uh, the Nigerian doctors who uh, felt embarrassed by the government wanting to call in Chinese medical teams to assist them. They were embarrassed and they felt like they didn't need any outside assistance. Now we go to the Congo and it seems as the government there is doing something probably much worse than just asking for assistance or advice or consultation. What we have here is much different. It says, Congo is prepared to take part in vaccine testing. Now, I want you to listen at some of the wording here in this article, it just kind of bothered me to hear these words. It says, the Democratic Republic of Congo is prepared to take part in testing of any future vaccine against the coronavirus. The head of the country's task force against the pandemic said on Friday, he said, we've been chosen to conduct these tests. Now that's coming from, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Jean Jacques Muyembe. Okay, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he said we've been chosen. He feels that they've been chosen to conduct these tests. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but are we not in 2020? When I hear things like that, it makes me wonder have these people been like in some type of bubble all of this time and they are just now breaking free and realizing that they're alive on this earth because anyone who has been around for the past 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, keep on going back backwards. Anyone who has been around for any length of time knows that this move to test Africans is highly suspicious. If he doesn't know that, if he doesn't realize that, if he doesn't believe that, I have no idea what to say for a person who thinks this way. I wish someone had something else clarifying that he meant something else because I'm having a hard time accepting the fact that he believes they were chosen. It says the vaccines will be produced, will be produced in the United States or in Canada or in China. You all can't see me right now, but I'm shaking my head. Mm, mm, mm. Let me say that part again. The vaccines that they want to test the population of Congo the Republic, the Democratic Republic of Congo, they want to test their population. Let me tell you again where the vaccines are produced. It says the vaccine will be produced in the United States or in Canada or in China. And yet this man, Jean Jacques Moyembe, believes that they've been chosen. Huh. It says, we're candidates for doing the testing here, Muyembe told a news briefing in comments that sparked controversy in the Congo amid charges the population was being used as guinea pigs. Muyembe suggested the clinical trials could begin in July or August. <sighs> so, if he says that they will begin in August, July or August, this is him basically saying that he believes that this virus is still going to be around just circulating and just doing what it does. At some point, COVID-19 will be uncontrollable, the virologist said. The only way to control it will be to vaccine, just like Ebola. It was a vaccine that helped us in the Ebola epidemic. Now, this is, this is what we are hearing people say. 
Now it says Miembe's comments came as two leading French doctors came under a storm of criticism after discussing on television the idea of testing a vaccine for coronavirus in Africa. Mm, mm, mm. Huh. All right. Let me read some more of this. This is just... I'm shaking my head again. Okay. Camille Locht, head of research at the National Institute of Health and Medical Research, and Jean-Paul Marat, head of intensive care at the Cochin Hospital in Paris, suggested that Africa offered better conditions for testing the vaccine. What do you mean better condi conditions? What do you mean better conditions? What do you mean Africa offers better conditions? They have the fewest cases. You have more cases in Italy, but you wanna test people in Africa. Okay, their remarks sparked furious criticism with the French anti-racism racism NGO SOS Racine saying no Africans aren't guinea pigs. Even former international and Ivory Coast football star Didier Drogba joined in. He said, it is inconceivable that we continue to accept this. Africa is not a laboratory. I strongly denounce these very serious racist and contemptuous words, the former Chelsea and Marcel Stryker wrote on his Facebook page. Hmm. It says, help us save lives in Africa and stop the spread of the virus that is disabling the whole world instead of seeing us as guinea pigs. It is absurd. Now, again, you're saying help us save lives. That, that statement in and of itself is saying that you need help outside of your own population. You're looking outward for help. I think with the vast resources of Africa, they should be past this point of asking and wanting and needing help. But anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you uh, concerning the fact that this Jean-Jacques Mayembe is feeling that the population of the Congo have been chosen like this is some type of divine choosing I'm still a little taken back by that, a little confused, but um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please subscribe, share this video, and like it. With that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.